As part of the PIPE 2012 release, we are excited to introduce an all-new user interface, PIPE 2012 Kinetic. To launch this interface, go to the Start menu, All Programs, PIPE 2012, and use the PIPE 2012 Kinetic shortcut. If you prefer to use the original interface, you may do so simply by using the PIPE 2012 Classic shortcut. In this presentation, we will discuss the major advantages of the interface, We'll take a brief tour and describe new features, most of which are exclusive to the PIPE 2012 Kinetic Interface. One of the main motivations for development of the Kinetic Interface was to create icon-driven menus, give users more control over toolbars and data windows, and to allow full use of the program window for model graphics. Another motivation was to make data entry, modification, and display simpler and more intuitive by creating a single location for all input fields and functions associated with pipes and nodes. In this example, tank data is shown. All input is contained in one straightforward table. From this table, users may display results graphs and results tables, create changes, display help information, manage user data, copy-paste, and much more. Group selection and editing may now be accomplished by simply clicking the row heading of the data item to be edited. Let's take a quick tour of the interface. Some helpful hints for navigating are found by clicking the button shown. In the kinetic interface, the mouse wheel will zoom in and out. There's no need to activate the zoom function. Panning is now accomplished by holding the Alt key and using the mouse to click and drag the map. The step of activating and deactivating pan mode has been eliminated. To customize toolbars and data windows, click the wrench icon as shown. The configuration menu appears and allows you to add extra map function buttons to the left toolbar. You may turn on and off the comprehensive secondary toolbar in the second row at the top. For the top toolbar, the Quick Profile and Quick Analysis buttons may be added. The menus accessed by each of the icons are also accessible by using the menu buttons circled in green at the left end of each toolbar. The Node and Pipe data window settings are in the middle of the configuration menu. Note the four settings. The data windows may be displayed as docked to the map screen, as docked to the screen but sizable, outside the interface screen, or turned off completely. Pipe and node windows may also be displayed simultaneously by clicking the Arrange Windows button on the right. As you become familiar with the new menu icons, you may hover over them to see a pop-up hint. These hints may be set to appear in one of several different languages and character sets. At the bottom of the Kinetic Interface window, you may click on the left corner to change modes. The options include layout mode, this is the mode in which model layout and editing takes place, group selection with a box or a polygon, adding text labels or zoom window. On the right side at the bottom of the window is an all new results selector menu. For time analysis such as EPS or surge, the time may be selected using the drop down selector or the new slider. The selector is also used to select cases for models with multiple case scenarios. Results labels, contours, and emphasis may all be animated using the control buttons at the bottom. Two sets of results may also be simultaneously displayed on a single graph, and the two parameters to be graphed together may be set here. This group of buttons represents the main menu icons. For each icon, the menu may be displayed one of two ways. A regular left click displays the menu in the new kinetic format. A right click displays with the classic format. Note, however, that the kinetic version of these menus includes some features not available in the classic version. The quick profile option is a new feature available in both the kinetic and classic interfaces. It skips the profile setup process and chooses a default path to profile. These are the remaining top toolbar icons. Shown is the drop-down menu, which is an alternative way to access the top toolbar menus and functions. 
The icons represent a direct save button, undo, redo, refresh map, and a clear button which deselects the group and layout mode selections. The return to map button will be frequently in use as reports, data tables, and other setup menus are viewed. And lastly, we have the navigation tips and configuration menu buttons, which we have already discussed. On the left side is the Map Commands bar. The default buttons are Layout, Group Mode, Zoom All, and Zoom Window. Four additional commands may be added to the toolbar. These are Group Box, Group Polygon, Zoom Previous, and Zoom Selected. The mode changes may also be set by clicking on the bottom left corner of the interface window. Selecting a group with a polygon shape is one of the new Pipe 2012 Kinetic features. Here is a list of secondary toolbar icons and what they represent. The drop-down menu, which is an alternative way to access the secondary toolbar menus, is shown. Many of the menu names will be recognizable to users of the classic interface. One notable addition is the Internet Maps option, which I will discuss later. This is a continuation of the secondary toolbar list. Certain menus will appear depending on the model type used. Several features are now grouped under relevant icons in this list. For instance, the Library Elements table is found under the Components shortcut, and Constraints and Optimal Pipe Design are found under the Design icon. Let's take a look at new Pipe 2012 features. Some of these features are available only in the Pipe 2012 Kinetic Interface. This first of these features is the study of a potential intrusion point called the Intrusion Calculator. This intrusion can be due to a pipe break, a homeland security scenario, or other situation where a pipeline is compromised. Once a point of intrusion is indicated, the program reports which valves to close in order to isolate the intrusion the volume of the piping impacted by the intrusion, and the volume of piping which is isolated by the closure of valves to contain the intrusion. Reports are generated, which also include the number of customers impacted, the total demand, lowest hydrant which can be used to drain the impacted zone, and a list of impacted pipes. Other new features include the ability to run a basic surge analysis using an EPA net model file, with a simple wizard-like setup menu. This is available in both the classic and kinetic interfaces. The ability to select a group of pipes and nodes using a polygon area is a feature of the kinetic interface, as well as the ability to display all pop-up hints in the various languages shown here. Internet maps and import elevations are two of our most eagerly anticipated new features. These are available in both interfaces and may be applied to new or existing models. Using a MapQuest satellite, roadmap, or combined display, the location of a network may be pinpointed and aligned in the background of the model. Once the model is placed, the elevations may be brought in and applied not only to the nodes in the system, but to the space surrounding the piping. This means an accurate, comprehensive elevation contour can be created and displayed for the entire map view and not just for the piping system. Other new features include the ability to display intermediate contours, a pipe crossover for intersecting pipes that are not connected, which is available in both the classic and kinetic interfaces, and last on this screen is a far more comprehensive group edit and labeling capability. In the classic interface, the parameters available for labeling and editing were limited. Now all data associated with pipes and nodes may be group edited and labeled. Label options have been expanded to include units and multiple labels. This last screen shows devices now available with both the classic and kinetic interfaces. All are available with Surge. Holding Tank is available with both KY Pipe and Surge. This concludes our introduction to the Pipe 2012 Kinetic Interface. If you have questions or suggestions, don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you.